The UK and the EU have announced new sanctions this week, and just today, we in the UK have imposed uh, new asset freezes and travel bans. We will also agree on the importance of weaning ourselves off dependence on Russian oil and gas and ensuring that our energy security cannot be threatened by a rogue state. This is not easy for any of us, and I applaud the seismic decisions taken by Olaf's government to move Germany away from Russian hydrocarbons. Today, we have agreed to maximise the potential of the North Sea and collaborate on energy security and on renewables, where Germany and the UK lead the way in new technology. We cannot transform our respective energy systems overnight, but we also know that Putin's war will not end overnight. That's why Britain and Germany have joined dozens of allies to supply Ukraine with defensive weapons. Last week, the UK convened a donor conference which raised weapons and equipment for Ukraine worth over £1.5 billion, or 2.5 million items of military kit. Today, I can announce that the UK will send a further £100 million worth of high-grade military equipment to Ukraine's armed forces, including more Starstreak anti-aircraft missiles, which fly at three times the speed of sound, another 800 anti-tank missiles, and precision munitions capable of lingering in the sky until directed to their target. We will also send more helmets, night vision, and body armor on top of the 200,000 pieces of non-lethal military equipment the UK has already dispatched. But Olaf and I agree that our two countries and our allies must go further and provide more help to Ukraine. The Europe we knew just six weeks ago no longer exists. 